Hello everyone, it's Oliver Harper here, and this is a Let's Play on Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Now I had a few requests from some of the viewers for me to play this game. Um, when I was a kid, when Street Fighter 2 came out, um, I never actually played this version. By the time I got to play the arcade game, it was uh, the Champion Edition version. Um, some of my friends at the time who had Super Nintendos didn't actually own Street Fighter 2. They had when it first came out on Super Nintendo, they had Super Mario Brothers and F Zero. And um, <clears throat> when I got into the obsession with Street Fighter, I was mostly playing Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um, so when I came to play the World Warrior, um, obviously because of some of the updates, they improved uh, the balance of the characters and they changed some of the background slightly and added more moves. And when I played the World Warrior, I actually thought the backgrounds were better in this version. Uh, which I'll discuss as I progress through the game. So let's put some credits in and uh, choose my character. Right. All right. When I play Street Fighter 2, I mean, I always generally play as Ken. Um, also, in this version, Ryu and Ken are pretty much identical. The only thing different is Ken's throw, which does like an extra roll. Um, but so, yeah, I'm going to go with Ken because I like Ken. Now, difficulty on this is set to medium, so it's not too hard, but not too easy. Oh, what a bitch. Come on. See, with this game, the balance is pretty much a bit off. I mean, when, like, for example, Blanca does his, like, cannibal roll attack, if you dragon punch him when he does it, it takes so much damage off him. So what I really hated um, when they gave Chun Li a fireball, it just really pissed me off because just uh, I think I think it kind of made it a little bit too powerful. Come on, just jump on me. Come on, oh, buddy, just stands out like a lemon. Whee! And like Ryu and Ken's hurricane kick in this version is, it for, you know, for being a player, it's really, it really does a lot of damage. And it's really effective, but when you're playing against two player, it is a little bit too powerful. I think that's obviously why they changed a lot in Champion and Turbo. Like Ken's hurricane kick's like really quick, but doesn't do as much damage, and Ryu's hurricane kick knocks you down in one one hit. Now, if Blanka does his cannibal roll here, I may be able to kill him quite quickly. I think he's standing like a lemon. Come on. Oh, I'll go. Right. Let's try and get some combos in. Perfect. So you let... It, once you chain a hurricane kick, like do like a flying kick standing face into a hurricane kick, you can pretty much kill the computer really quickly. Or once you make them dizzy, you can re-dizzy them in like, a num like, in like three hits. damage. What I always like to do when I play with Ryu or Ken is just like change the speed of my fireballs, do a slow one, then do a quick one, just sort of mess around, just mess the computer around a bit. No! His face! So what I liked in The World Warrior, when you fought your characters, I'd always be in random in a random order in Champion and Turbo they always went around a familiar pattern so I kind of like the random selection of your enemies Ooh. oh I did my flying kick way too high there I mean with like Zangief you can kill him pretty much because you can just keep jumping up in there and doing like a a flying kick, just jumping straight up, and you'll walk into it every time. There's so many like techniques I just remember as a kid. Come on. Dizzy, and then... Another perfect? Whee! They clearly changed Ken's face in Champion and Turbo, because his face looks a bit weird there, doesn't it? Oh, 
Oh, the bonus stage. Completely, you know, remember, like, in Final Fight, you had to destroy the car, and I should do here. See, in Champion, you can keep doing this kick towards the to damage the car, but in this one, you can't do it. So, Dragon Punch is the only, is, is the only option. Oh, bollocks, fuck it up. See, I preferred like the background designs of the World Warrior because I just—it's just, it's just, a, just subtle differences. I mean, this seems a bit more, more bright and colourful with like it's a bit more, like, um, like the dawn setting for Giles. In uh, I think was it was it in Turbo they changed the colour or Champion. Oh, I could have got a perfect then. Fuck's sake. Oh, the girls theme is so good. Oh, see, if you if you stand a certain distance away from Guile, just do a dragon punch, like a, like a, uh, a small one, then he'll automatically do a flash kick, which you can trick him into doing it every time. He's even spamming me with sonic booms. Spam me back, man. Oh, you bastard. Oh! What am I doing? Do that. Oh, damn, I was too close. Oh, I'm falling for every time now. What am I doing? Should be dizzy now. No, it's not. Oh, what? Fucking computer cheating. There we go. Can't believe I lost that round. With Ken's arm, it's like it's melting. Very strange. India. Oh damn! See, when you, I always fight against Dalsim. I always do like a dragon punch straight away because he's not trying to attack you, and then you end up, you'll end up punching your dragon punch and doing damage to himself. Oh, I didn't stand up. Oh, what? I'm not a big fan of Dale Sims stage because like those bloody elephants won't stop making so much noise in the background. Oh, it's a bit too late now. Oh, bollocks. What? Here we go, re dizzy, dizzy again, and then throw. I mean, the first Street Fighter game I ever owned, I think it was actually Street Fighter 2 on a Commodore 64, and it was fucking awful. It was so bad. And finally, I got a Sega Mega Drive and had the Champion Edition on that, and that was fantastic. Obviously, playing it now is not as good as the arcade. Or probably not as good as the SNES version, but 
There's some parts of the Mega Drive version which I really like. I, I kind of like the, I really like the music of it, and um, I see the sound effects are a bit muffled and a bit crap. But oh fuck off, Leon! There we go. As you can see the other day I was playing Street Fighter the movie doing Let's Play and the Honda was like stupidly fast and overbalanced but in this he's very slow and sluggish but obviously very powerful. So there is a balance there to it. Oh, I, I was never a fan of this bonus stage. I, it's just it's a, bit, a little bit monotonous. I always fuck it up. I end up like destroying 19 crates instead of the 20. Let's see if I can get all of them. One more dragon punch. Oy. So when I play these um, these let do these let's plays, I have a Sega Saturn style USB pad, which is really good because Sega Saturn pad is like the best best joy pad for anything that's retro because the D pad is easily the best. Oh, red fireball! Look at that. So I always preferred Ryu stage on World Warrior because you get those little things you can smash into. Idiot. <laughs> Fireball, that's it. Thank you. Gotcha. Come on, do something right. Thank you. Gotcha. When I when I play Street Fighter 4 now, if I go online and play it, I always have I always be Ryu because I just feel a lot more safe for playing the same. If you use Ken, you can end up leaving yourself open to too many attacks. But when I play like, you know, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I always be Ken, because his Dragon Punch has so much range. Oh, Borog. Now, this is going to be a bit of a pain. Well, as always with Borog, just got to keep him at, keep him at bay with fireballs. And just sweeps. Fuck. Fucking hell, look at this! Oh, fuck that up. See, once you get once he gets you in a corner, you're a bit stuffed really because you just keep pl like plowing and plowing like with like constant punches. Do so much damage. All the all the boss characters are completely overpowered. Should dizzy. There we go. Let's do that. Re dizzy and then throw. Perfect. Changing the speed. Oh, there we go. I'm gone. Come on, just thank you. Hey, dizzy and dragon punch.
Now with Vega, all you got to do is just wait for him to jump on you and just do dragon punches, or when you're knocking down, if you jump ahead of him and do a flying kick, he generally, there you go, oh, do a hurricane kick, he should fall into it. Uh, he should be dizzy now. Here we go. Re-dizzy. Two perfects. Hurrah! Now the the next, I think there's another bonus round after the after Vega, and this bonus round wasn't in the home console versions. They changed it. We had to destroy loads of bricks. Um, because this bonus round just seems a lot easier than the previous ones. I don't know why they changed it. Oh shit. Time to fight against Sagat! Now another th weird thing in the World Warrior, that his level has a, like a tree in the foreground which they removed. I probably felt maybe it just got in the way. Oh shit, I jumped way too early there. Idiot. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. That's what really pissed me off Sagat, this is constantly spams you with special moves. Oh god, I'm down. Oh bollocks! Oh yes! Fish him off with a dragon punch as well. Done more damage to his scar. Bison. Ah, <laughs> not bad. Oh, bollocks! Completely fucked that up. Oh, damn it. Damn it, he didn't stand up into it. Uh! Not killing me. Ha ha ha! Yes! Got him. <laughs> Ken's ending so funny because he gets married at the end, but obviously they redrew the animation and champion and turbo. Look at Eliza, it's so funny. What are you doing here? Ah! It's like Dolph Lundgren. That's what I loved about Street Fighter 2, because every character had an ending and like a little bit of story thrown in. At the time, you know, a lot of computer games were just like at the end, you just go, well done, you've completed the game, game over. Oh, right, thanks. I'm gonna put my name in as Git. There we go. Oh, so emotional, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I mean, what else can you say about Street Fighter 2? It is, is the greatest fighting game ever made. I mean, I've never been so obsessed about a, about a computer game as a kid. I mean, I had everything. I like 
Player's Guide sticker albums, the G.I. Joe action figures. I collect, I collected like loads of clippings of magazines on the game. I was that sad. I've still got the folders somewhere actually. Maybe I'll try and sell them, see if they're worth anything. Probably, probably worth nothing because I've like took them all out of magazines. What if I kept the magazines? They'd be worth a lot more, but never mind. I mean, I still like going back to the World Royal because of its like because it's a little bit overbalanced, and Ryan and Ken's like high ground kick is like really powerful, and the background stages I prefer. But obviously, Street Fighter 2 Turbo is probably probably the best out of I don't know actually maybe Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is the best out of all the updates. But um, it's quite difficult now to find people who still like playing Street Fighter and who are pretty good at it. I mean, yeah, you play Jing, any any. You can easily find people by going online, and um, I mean, some of the people I've played online are so good, it's unbelievable. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. Um, if you want to see me play other Street Fighter games, then uh, leave a comment below. Um, I'll be back soon with another Let's Play with Richard with more movie licensed games like uh, Alien 3 and Moonwalker and. I've got to play Robocop 3 on the Super Nintendo, which is going to be a fucking nightmare because it's so hard, but, um, but it should still be fun, so uh, look out for that.